Ratan Tata was born on December 28, 1937 in Bombay into one of India's most prominent families. His grandfather, J.R.D. Tata, was a pioneering industrialist who laid the foundation of the Tata Group. Despite growing up in wealth, Ratan Tata's early life was shaped by discipline and a strong value system, thanks to the influence of his grandmother, Lady Nababai Tata. His parents separated when he was young, and Ratan was raised by his grandmother, who played a significant role in his upbringing. This instilled in him the empathy and resilience that would later define his leadership style. After completing his schooling in Mumbai, Tata pursued a degree in architecture and structural engineering at Cornell University in the U.S., followed by an advanced management program at Harvard Business School. His return to India marked the beginning of a humble yet decisive phase in his career. Starting on the shop floor of Tata Steel in Yamshedpur, he worked alongside blue-collar workers, gaining hands-on experience that would shape his understanding of the business from the ground up. In 1991, Ratan Tata succeeded J.R.D. Tata as chairman of the Tata Group. Many doubted whether he could fill the shoes of his predecessor, but Tata was determined to prove them wrong. His leadership would transform the group into a global powerhouse, growing it from a domestic conglomerate to an international entity with over 100 companies across diverse industries. Under Ratan Tata's leadership, the Tata Group made bold moves that shook the corporate world. He orchestrated high-profile acquisitions like Tetley T, Corus Steel, and the iconic Jaguar Land Rover, propelling Tata into the global spotlight. These moves were more than just business deals. They symbolized the emergence of India as a global economic power. But Tata was not only focused on profits. His vision always balanced growth with social responsibility, emphasizing ethical business practices and improving the quality of life in communities where Tata operated. Perhaps one of his most ambitious projects was the Tata Nano, dubbed the world's cheapest car. Ratan Tata's vision was to make car ownership affordable for the common Indian. Though the Nano didn't achieve commercial success, it exemplified his innovative spirit and desire to improve the lives of everyday people. While Ratan Tata is best known for his business acumen, his legacy extends far beyond the boardroom. Over two-thirds of Tata Sons, the holding company of the Tata Group, is owned by charitable trusts. These trusts have contributed billions of dollars toward education, healthcare, and rural development in India. From funding cancer research to improving sanitation, Rotten Tata has ensured that Tata's wealth works for the betterment of society. Despite his monumental achievements, Ratan Tata remains an embodiment of humility. He lives a modest life and has always maintained a strong focus on ethical leadership. In his own words, I don't believe in taking right decisions. I take decisions and then make them right. Ratan Tata officially stepped down as chairman of Tata Sons in 2012, but his legacy continues to inspire millions. His journey from the shop floor to the boardroom, from steering a family business to shaping a nation's future, serves as a powerful reminder that true leadership is not just about profits, but about purpose. Ratan Tata's life is a testament to how vision, courage, and compassion can redefine success. Today, he stands tall, not just as a titan of industry, but as a beacon of hope for generations to come. Ratan Tata, a man who believed in building more than just businesses, he built a better India.